How's it going everyone? This is Joe with Dana, Joe & Co. and I am back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what is the Facebook Pixel. Now, if this is your first time watching a video on this channel, uh, we would love it if you give us a subscribe and give us a like and then you can just hit the little bell so you never miss another video like this again. Uh, now, Dana Joe & Co. is an educational brand for photographers, but we also uh, are growing a community over on Facebook. We have a Facebook group called The Booking Lab, and in there, I basically do everything in this video. I just go deeper, and I'm able to answer your questions. So if you haven't joined already, find the link uh, or search for it on Facebook. We love to have you come over and join us. Now, let's go back to the topic. Today, we're going to be talking about, like I said, the Facebook Pixel. If you've never heard of the Facebook Pixel before, then you are in the right place. Uh, this is going to be a quick video, uh, but it's really important to uh, understand what this tool is and um, what it does for you because there's still a lot of photographers that I've you know come across their website and discovered that they don't have a Facebook Pixel installed. And then I'll reach out to them, I'll, I'll chat with them, and then just realize they don't know uh, what it what it's for? What do you, you know? What's the purpose of this thing? Why should I even have one? So that's what I'm going to be covering in today's topic. Now I'm going to share my screen real quick, and I am going to show you uh, where to access it. All right. So if you haven't already, I would recommend that you go and you create a business manager account. So you know when you are when you have your business page you can go in and you can do a lot of stuff via the Facebook business page however it you can do a lot more when you set up a Facebook business manager and the reason I know I'm in the business manager is because this bar is different you can see this is kind of like a slate blue versus the bright blue so this tells me I'm in my business manager account and you know what you would do is you go to business.facebook.com you go there uh, you create an account and then you would basically attach your business page to that account now I'm not going to be getting into the specific details of that but you could just google this and I'm sure you could find a video or some detailed instructions on how to do this now once you have your business account business manager account set up you're gonna come into the back end and you're gonna look in the top right or excuse me top left and you're going to see this little hamburger menu. So if I click this, you're going to see there's tons of options back here. So this is where I can create Facebook ads. I can create custom audiences. I can upload images. There's a lot of things that you can do back here. But the one we're focusing on today is called Events Manager, and it's where it says Pixels. So if I click on Pixels, this is what's going to show up. So I have um, multiple pixels already installed. I have one for my website, we have one for our shop, our education site, so on and so forth. Now, what this is doing is this is actually showing me activity on our site. So people who uh, viewed page, viewed certain content, who searched for us, right? So you can actually glean a lot of data just by seeing this. Now I have multiple pixels back here. If it's just your photography website, you would just have one. But you, I believe you can create up to 150 of these. But, but at the end of the day, you only need one for your website, okay? So what you would do is you come over here and you click Add New Data Source. All right, so you click Add New Data Source, Facebook Pixel, and then you would walk through and you'd install it. Now in my next video, I'm going to show you exactly how to install the Facebook Pixel on your website for... Uh, not only show it websites, but also WordPress websites. So make sure you check out that next video, and I'll show you a walkthrough of exactly how to do that. But basically, a Facebook pixel, according to Facebook, is um, allows you to share your ads to the right people, it helps drive more sales, and it helps measure the results of your ads. Now, to me, if I have no idea or any familiarity with ads or pixels, I would be like, what the heck does that even mean? So, whenever I go to a website, so if I go to my photography website, what you're going to see is this up here. This is a Chrome extension, it's called Facebook Pixel Helper. So if I click this, I'll see that I have a Facebook Pixel installed. So anyone who visits my website, right, Facebook is now tracking that person. 
I think of it like this. Say someone comes to your house, right? So they come in through your front door. They come to your house. They knock on the door. They come in front door. They sign a guest book. So now I have data that that person visited my house. This is their name. This is their contact information. And, um, and they visited on this date. Well, that's what the Facebook pixel does. Just think of it as like a tracking. It's basically a way for Facebook to track who visits your website. And then it also tracks the activity. So if you've ever gone back to Facebook after, you know, viewing a certain product or viewing a certain website and then you go over to Facebook and then all of a sudden that you're scrolling through your news feed, now you're seeing an ad from that website or that brand. That's how that works. Is you went to their website, the Facebook pixel um, took note of the fact that you visited the website and then it allowed the person who's running retargeting ads, so if you've ever heard retargeting ads, um, allowed that person to retarget you on Facebook when you went back over to off of their website. So if you don't know what a Facebook pixel is, just think of it as a tracking code, okay? Um, the tracking code that basically monitors the activity on your website, and what this allows you to do is one, tells you how many people are visiting your site. Two, it tells you what activities and actions they are taking on your site. And then three, this tells this allows you to run retargeting ads so that you have the ability to, um, if someone leaves your site, to potentially get your, uh, your brand back in front of them and deliver kind of whatever information you want, whether that's reviews or a recent blog post, um, and this actually makes your ads really, really cheap versus paying something uh, versus paying for expensive ads. Um, and I'm not going to get into specific details, but just realize it is a massive benefit to have this installed. Uh, so even it, whether you started out or whether you're experienced or a veteran, or regardless of where you're at, I highly encourage you to look into a Facebook pixel and getting it installed today because it's gonna allow you to start collecting data and it's gonna take some time to collect that data, okay? So the number one thing I can recommend is get it installed today. So I'm just gonna roll into the next video here. Make sure to check it out. It's gonna show you exactly step-by-step -step how to install the Facebook Pixel. I hope you have a guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching this to the end. If you like what you see, give us a like, a subscribe. And then, of course, as always, come and join us in the Facebook, uh, our free Facebook group over at the Booking Lab, uh, where I continue going to awesome videos like this and more in depth, but help you guys grow your photography business. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.